From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook The Last Observer – A Magic Battle for Reality by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample on the audiobook's page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. In Portland, Oregon, a man somehow managed to steal 800 pairs of shoes from a local Nike store. Uh, this, this guy needs like a cool villain name, like the Millipede. Politico reports that President Trump is looking to hire a crisis manager. Yeah, I located the source of your crisis here, Mr. President. Uh, it's you. Some of the medals that the athletes won at the Rio Olympics are apparently chipping and rusting, which describes perfectly the quality of the Rio Olympics in general. A report says robots could wipe out 40 percent of all retail jobs in the next 10 years. But then Amazon.com, that's they're going to wipe out 40 percent of all retailers in the next 10 years, so I guess it all evens out. For all the publicity that Katy Perry is getting out of her feud with Taylor Swift, I th I'm going to announce that I'm feuding with Taylor Swift, too. All right, well, technically speaking, she's not speaking to me. Okay, well, she doesn't know me, but still. Nathan's and Curtis hot dogs are being recalled after metal shards were found in the packaging. Now, they tried to get out of this by saying their hot dogs were a good source of iron, but apparently the FDA just wasn't going for that. Pope Francis and President Trump met at the Vatican. No, that's not the setup for a joke. It really happened. In fact, while at the Vatican, Pope Francis asked First Lady Melania Trump what she feeds her husband. Specifically, he wanted to know if she feeds him podiga, which is a high-calorie pastry served in Slovenia. And then His Holiness did a bunch of Yo Donald's So Fat jokes. The critics are not being kind to Baywatch, and they're not amused by the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Pirates of Baywatch, however, might be the comedy smash hit of the summer. The submarine that was made famous in the Tom Clancy 1984 novel The Hunt for Red October, the USS Dallas, completed its final trip Monday morning when it arrived at Puget Sound Naval Shipyard for decommissioning. Sean Connery was not asked to comment because they didn't want people making fun of the way he said USS Dallas. The NFL is changing their rules and once again will allow touchdown celebrations. So all is now right with the world. Join the Weird It Forward movement, where Marlar House weirdos make a difference in the world a couple of bucks at a time. Our latest Weird It Forward campaign is for Keith. He has Down syndrome, and he was unexpectedly accepted to college. But now he has no money for tuition, so you can get the details and help the guy out by watching the video at WeirdItForward.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more and click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!